morning friends. It is November 1st, 2012. Another month. Boy, they're rolling now. Um, I am 133 this morning. So I am down 1.8 after a Faye day yesterday. Um, my stall and cheat are now history and Tom is gone. And yesterday was an accomplishment for me because I did not indulge and I stuck to my guns and stuck with the Faya yogurt and, and I was okay and it was a nice place to be. Um, so I'm proud of myself. No candy, no wine. And I ate the meal I intended to eat. And I probably got a few miles of walking in as my kids hauled in bags and bags of loot <laughs> that now is in the house, which is scary. So, um, a few comments have come through in regards to my 135 ish number that I've been holding for the past two weeks feels like for my whole round but and I wanted to just kind of address that real quick yes 135 is a wonderful number and and I could most definitely be very content here in fact I have been very content in the 130 ish range for the majority of my adult life after after my kids came before that I was always in the 120 range uh, I do want to remind you that I am five three and a half, barely, and I have a very very small frame. You can't. It's very deceiving when you when you do the vlogs and you're only seen from the waist up. Um, but my frame is small. When I wrap my my hand around my wrist, my thumb overlaps my finger as a gauge. I mean, it's just, and, um, Steph talk, at least talked about, you, if you get online and you Google how to figure out what your frame is, uh, it, it's a good indication of, of getting an idea because it's hard to see past all the layers. I remember when I was, you know, 168 and it's like, what is my frame? Am I, you know, I'm more of a medium frame. I'm just this big, this, this, um, heavier person and it's hard to really see through what your frame is because you you're holding on to all that weight so yeah I could stay at 135 and probably be just fine for the rest of my life um, but what you're not seeing is I have fat hanging off of me still and yes I've had three kids um, and yes, I'm, you know, mid forties now and, and I, I'm not looking to look like a teenager, but I am, I, I'm very much feeling, um, like I'm pulling out of that matronly look <laughs> that I felt like I was moving into once I, once I hit my forties and I'm not feeling that anymore. So now what I see are, are these pockets of fat. It's not the all over fat that once was there when I first started HCG. Um, it's, it's definitely targeted areas where women normally hold their fat under my arm, you know, my, my tricep area in my stomach, um, on my hips and, and still in my back. When you put a bra on, you put a shirt on, you can see those rolls that are bulging over the bra strap. So I'm going to continue on this journey and keep going because I truly believe that I have, I have abnormal fat on my body that needs, if I'm going to do this, this is why I'm doing it. I'm doing it to eliminate that abnormal fat and then begin introducing my healthy lifestyle of, of working out again and not be so focused on that extreme exercise that I did for so many years. Of, I'm like, I have to walk five miles today and then I also have to, um, on top of that, do a video or go to a class. And, and I want to do it and enjoy it. I want to work out and build muscle and be happy and not worry about what the scale says. So if I end up losing my abnormal fat and I start working out again, not six days a week, but maybe three to five days a week, um, 
and not be focused on what the scale says, but be happy with a leaner muscle mass on my body, less fat and healthy, you know, feeling healthier. That's, that's my goal. So yes, right now I am at the top of my chart. I am within range of where my body could be considered healthy. But when I grab these, these handfuls of fat, you know, even right now, I, over my seatbelt, there's this roll of fat and in my back, it's pressed up against the back of the seat. Um, I, that's what, what I'm after right now. So let me see. I gotta look at my notes real quick. And what time is it? 5.40, okay. So I am gonna do another round. I am gonna to, to finish this one as strongly as I can. I have 13 days left. I really, really wanna keep my focus on, on getting the most out of this round and, and preparing for the holidays and getting my mind into not overindulging and not that need to just produce mass amounts of baked goods and all of that and really focus on quality and not quantity. Um, and then, you know, I'll do another round in the new year and see where that takes me. And then it's hard not to set goals. I did not set goals in my first round because fear of failure. How many diets have we all done where you set this just even a reasonable goal, let's not even talk about a, a just an astronomical wishing goal, but a reasonable goal. And then, yeah, you may get close to it and then still end up failing anyway. Um, so I didn't set goals in my first round. And in my second round, I was cocky and thought, I got this. I can do this. This is HCG. Everybody gets results on HCG. I'm not going to, my hair's really bugging me. I'm starting to feel like Kim. I got to quit looking in the mirror. <laughs> um, in that second round, I just figured, you know, I'm just, I can, I'm going to drop 20 pounds and no big deal. And then I hit the set point that I'm right on top of right now. I'm within ounces. Um, so this third round, I've been a bit more focused, which is laughable when I, you know, had that huge stall and cheat last week, but at the same time, I do have a goal in mind, but I don't want to obsess on the goal. My goal is to get into the 120s. I know for many of you out there that are heavier, it's, it, for you, you would just think, oh my goodness, if I could only get to a specific number, it, it really doesn't matter how heavy you are. You have a number in your mind within each round that you would like to achieve regardless of how many rounds you're doing. If you're frustrated and you're heavier, go see some of the, the people that have dropped a lot of weight. Go look at, you know, Miss HCG. Go look at, at HCG Chica or, you know, there's a many of them out there. They're over 100 pound losers and there's men out there too. Chuck no more. And I mean, if you get on and start looking through there, there are many people that have lost more than 50 pounds. Um, it still is that same mindset in your head of, of trying to reach that goal. And so also this week I had people talk to me about not setting goals and just taking, taking what is being given to you. And yes, I do believe that that is a, is a great way to go through this process because we know that we're going to eventually drop and release weight if we if we follow protocol and it and maybe each round is different and we don't get out of it what we're really looking for but at the same time we're going forward and most of you if you measure you will see even when you don't lose the numbers the release the weight in the round you're still releasing the inches so measure please measure it's really important it's very discouraging to see the numbers but look at Steph Ely who started and then she's finishing right now you know this year as she approaches the end of, of her round she said my thigh measurement is the measurement that my you know, my waist is now, my original thigh measurement is now my waist measurement. I mean, that's just, that's an accomplishment. That's really neat. And you wouldn't know that if you never measured. So for all of you out there that are frustrated, whether it's over 200 or under 
200. It's still, we, we feel the same. We're all here to support everybody as they march through this journey. Um, I love watching each and every one of you as you as you muddle through on difficult days or you excel and, and do fabulous and you're so excited and you, you can just feel that and it's just a wonderful thing and I can't remember who it was TM Nichols or somewhat one of you actually said you know women don't typically support each other in the real world we there are women out there that do, but it's it's not the majority. You know, you don't share things with women just randomly and and receive support. And so this is a is a special thing to have. And I, and anyone out there that's thinking about doing the HCG, you know, if you, jump in and get started and realize that there's this huge community of love wrapped around you whether you succeed or fail whether you end your round early or you extend your round um and it, and and that is the nice thing this hcg reality tv is what supports me and gets me through um each day when even if you don't have time to you know answer comments or or to go ahead and leave comments um, it get on, watch it. That's what got me through yesterday. Taking a look, seeing what everyone else was doing, and it's a big help. So, gosh darn it, I went over 10 minutes again. I love you guys. Have a great day. Happy November 1st. Um, and I, I hope everybody's releasing and, and doing well today or stabilizing if you're in P3 or P4. All right, see you tomorrow. Ciao.